For photographers, editing on a wide color gamma display is fantastic because then you get to see your pictures in full color fidelity. The issue with that is if you use that display along with a Windows 10 computer, you may be running into an issue where everything looks great in your pro editing program. However, when you export that picture out and you try to view it in the photo viewer program on Windows, the color looks way more saturated than they're supposed to and it doesn't match what you see in the other programs. This causes a lot of problems where you're uncertain at this point if the pictures is rendering correctly and also it adds a lot of insecurity in the workflow that you do. What I'm going to do is explain to you what's going on and also give you three alternatives that you can use instead of Windows Photo Viewer to view your photos in a color managed environment. I'm Art and Art is Right. Before we start, subscribe if you're new and hit on the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I upload cool new videos like this. To give us some background, Windows does not do any color management at the operating system level and also the apps that ship with Windows such as the Photo Viewer program that launches automatically when you double click on a photo in Windows does not color manage either. What it does, it passes through the RGB value directly onto the display without going through the profile, which is the reason why you're seeing an oversaturated colors when compared to the pro image editing app that you may be using. Even though you do set the ICC profile for your display in the Windows system, Windows does not really use that. It's really there to help facilitate the programs that are using those profiles so that they can use the display profile and do the color conversion in real time on the background. For example, I have on the screen here, this is a picture of the Aurora Borealis. We can see that in Lightroom on the left side of the screen, it looks great. On the top right, bridge looks fantastic and matches really closely with what Lightroom is rendering. However, in the Windows Proto Viewer, you can see that the green is rendering much different and also the blues are much more saturated. Let's take a look at another photo of a yellow wall. We can also see the difference here too where the yellow is rendering more orange than the one in either Bridge or Lightroom. And lastly, we can see that the foreground and the shore there in Lightroom and in Bridge is rendering fairly neutral. However, this is pushing the colors to much more redder and also the tones of the sky is changing. So this is not happening to only one photo. It's happening to pretty much any photo that you throw at it. The key thing here is to avoid using the default Windows Photo Viewer program when you double click on the file. There are three free alternatives that I have come up with that works fairly well. One of them is FastStone Image Viewer, the other one is XNView, and the third one is IR Fan View. So all those three programs will work just fine and they are a color aware program. If you have subscription to the Adobe Creative Cloud, using Bridge is a great idea. There are other paid programs out there such as ACDC that you can also use to view photos in a color managed environment. However, if you're looking for a free solution to do a quick proof, any of these will do. First, I will show you their website. This is the FastZone website. I will put a link to this download in the description below this video so you can click on that directly. FastZone Image Viewer current version is 7.5. Next up is the XNSoft and XNView. So there is a few versions of XNView. For this one, what I do is I just choose XNView Classic and download that one. And lastly, there is another program called IR FanView, which is also another color aware program. From my testing and brief use with them, I tend to like FastTone and XNView much better because you can see your pictures in a group folder. With IR Fan View, what it does is that it just shows you one picture up at any given time and I have yet to find a way how to do the film strip. So I might be mistaken there, but from my testing, that's the case. Another thing to note about IR Fan View too is you want to scroll down and click download IR Fan View plugin at the very bottom because the plugin is going to give you the color management ability. It will launch a new web page here and what you want to choose is the all plugin 64 bit installer or all plugin 32 bit window installer. So those are the two options you want to choose. I have already downloaded these programs and install them. However, I have not configured them yet and let's see how they work right out of the box. So starting out, this is FastStone Image Viewer. And in FastTone Image Viewer, we're still getting the problem that the picture is showing much more red, is showing much more saturated. And we can see this really clearly too in the picture of the Aurora Borealis where 
is rendering the same way as in Windows Photo Viewer, like here. And it's not rendering the way how Lightroom is rendering it right now. So to fix this problem, go into Setting menu, Setting or F12, CMS, Enable Color Management System, and check Auto Detect and Use Monitor Profile. Press OK. And now if we preview that again, the picture now matches really closely with what you're seeing in Lightroom Bridge. So this is the first program that I recommend. The other program that I recommend is XN View. In XN View, again, you can see the picture in the thumbnail form this way. And this is not configured. This is just download and installed. And you can see that there is a great discrepancy between the two, the way how Lightroom is rendering the photo and the way how the program is right now. At this point, it's uncolor managed. So we need to go and do color management. On the toolbar, there is an option that gear towards the end, click on it, and you will have this option dialog show up. Click on the general tab at the very top, the third tab over ICC, use embedded ICC profile, set that, and then set display so that the default ICC profile is sRGB, default CMYK is a system profile, press OK. Close the program out. Relaunch the program, and now we have a color rendition that's really close to what Lightroom is showing. So now we're in a color and managed environment. Keeping in mind that if you go in and set these settings and it doesn't render that right away, quit the program and relaunch it again for the program to take the color profile into effect. And the last program I am going to show here is IR Fan View. IR Fan View is a very interesting program where you have to click and open. Again, I'm not sure if there is a thumbnail or not. I haven't been able to figure that part out. It tends to be a singular image viewer. We can see that the color rendition is really close to the Windows Photo Viewer and not anywhere close to Lightroom. Click on Options, Property and Setting. Come down to Zoom Color Management. In the middle, Color Management option, enable that. It will show the custom ICC profile. This is generally going to be the display ICC profile. However, you can also click on current monitor profile that will work too. Close this out, quit the program, relaunch. Let's open that photo one more time. And the pictures are now rendering properly. Very similar again to Lightroom Bridge or any other pro photo app that you may be using. So there you have it. These are three separate programs that are free that you can use to view and proof your photos. And again, because Windows is not color managed, avoid using Windows Photo Viewer at all costs. Once you download these programs, you can always come into Windows and set these as your default image viewing programs too. But just remember that you need to go in there and set the color management for all these programs. They are color aware, but they're not enabled by default like your professional photography app. I hope that you find this information helpful. Feel free to leave questions in the comment section below. Give this video a like, subscribe if you're new, hit on the bell to be notified when I upload cool videos like this. And until next time, art is right.